my channel. Today we're going to make this cute, adorable little St. Patrick's Day gnome. He is made with a Dollar Tree hat. And I know a lot of you are saying, yeah, I can't get that hat because they don't have a Dollar Tree near me or they're sold out at my Dollar Tree. But I've got your back. You can make the same exact thing out of these solo cups and cardboard. All you've got to do is cut this trim off the bottom, put two cups together, glue this cardboard on, and I have a pattern for it in the description below. I even made a mock-up of the same hat with that pattern, and it's just like this one. So, if you want to know how to make it, stick around, I'll show you how. Okay, for this project, you're going to need a pair of knee socks, you're going to need a hat from the Dollar Tree, you're going to need two dowel rods, they are five and a half inches by a quarter inch, you're going to need some, um, corks and you're going to go ahead and drill a hole through the middle of those because they're going to go onto those dowel rods. You're going to need some batting, some ribbon. Um, you're going to need beads for the hands, a bead for the nose. Um, this is a piece of foam measuring one inch by 11 inch for the hat. You can need two pipe cleaners, um, some styrofoam, and I'll put all the sizes in the description. Um, some decorations for your hat, um, a pair of little shoes, and a beard. And if you don't, if you can't get this at the Dollar Tree, um, I'm going to include a pattern where you can use two 16 ounce Solo cups with this. And um, you'll just cut this out of um, cardboard, and you'll take your Solo cups and put them inside of it. Take two of them so they are um, a little bit thicker and they hold up better. You're gonna you're gonna tape these down to each other. On the back, you're gonna cut that ridge around both of them so that the hat can go inside of them. And then after you get it all um, taped down to cover up the tape, you can just take the pattern and cut it out of cardstock and um, glue it down to your hat. And uh, that'll be in the the, the pattern will be in the description. We're going to start with our hat. We're going to go ahead and take it apart. And uh, the easiest way to take the the ones on the bottom off is to go ahead and cut the little nubs off because we're going to cut those off anyway. And then we're going to go ahead and start taking the um, decorative stuff off of the hat because you can use this hat just like it is if you want to but i'm not doing it in this um in this tutorial i'm going to put something else on it and um, once you get it all completely taken apart we're going to take some um, scissors and go ahead and cut all the little nubs around the base off and we're going to do the same thing on the top because we want our hat not to have all those nubs sticking out and you can just do those with a pair of scissors. Just the top ones and the bottom ones. You don't have to worry about the ones down the side. Then we're going to take some batting and we're going to double it up to go over the top. Just so that the top of our hat is a little bit more smooth. You just put that over the top of that. We're going to go ahead and trim it out. And then we're going to go ahead and glue it down. And then once you've got the um, bottom one glued down, you'll go ahead and glue the top piece to the bottom. Because again, we did two layers of batting on this. Then we're going to go ahead and take our sock and put it over the top of it. And this is going to take a little effort. You're going to have to stretch it on down in there, but it, you can get it done. Um, just keep pulling it and pulling it and pull it until the toe of the, of the sock is on the top of the hat. And we want it to go cover the whole top of the hat. And then pull your sock on down. It's kind of going to be like a um, slouchy hat. We're going to go ahead and pull the um, edge around the base of the hat. And up into the hat and if you're using the stripe try to make sure that your ridge of your hat um, when you're looking at the top of it is kind of evened out as far as color before you um, finish it up then we're going to take it and just going to stuff the in the bottom of the sock inside of there and then we're just going to kind of take it some time and um, try to get exactly how we want our slouchiness to look on our hat and you definitely want to cover up the heel that's why we're doing a slouchy, slouchy um, hat. Okay, once we get that done, we're going to go ahead and start um, assembling the, bottle, the body. We're going to start with the feet and the legs. And we're going to take these dowel pins and stick them through the corks. And just make sure that the cork is flush with the pin because we want it to set inside of our shoe flush so it doesn't tilt. We want our, our gnome to be able to stand up straight. Once you get those in there, then we're going to go ahead and make some... Um, take some fabric and we're going to make some um, legs out of them with the stocks and we're just going to lay our um, corks on there and cut off a little piece we don't need to go all the way to the top of the dowel rod because that's going to actually go inside the styrofoam 
and we'll go ahead and get that cut open and we will um, attach that to that cork. We're gonna trim out one side because we want our seam to be down the back of the shoe, back of the leg, and we want it trimmed out. So we are gonna put a quarter inch um, hem on this right now. And we're gonna do the same thing for the opposite side as well. Then we're gonna just take some glue and we're gonna roll our cork up into it with the bottom of the um, with the bottom of the leg flush with the fabric, and then we're just going to glue that edge down, and we're going to do that for both pieces. Next, we're going to open up our shoe. You're going to have to untie it to get it opened all the way. We're going to open up our shoe, and we are going to glue that leg down inside of our shoe. Just make sure that that seam is at the back because you don't want it showing in the front before we glue it down. And then we're just gonna put some glue inside that shoe and we're gonna glue that leg inside of it. And then just um, tie your shoelaces back up and we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing for the other leg. And then glue that one inside that shoe. Make sure that that seam is at the back. Then we're gonna take the top of our sock and we're gonna trim it down, um, into like four, three or four sections because that's actually gonna glue to the body of our um, gnome to the styrofoam and we want it to be flush. And we're gonna do the same thing on both sides. Then make sure that you um, have lefts and rights on the correct side before you put it into your gnome. Um, went ahead and peeled that um, fabric back and we're gonna stick it into this styrofoam cone and just kind of get it in there, um, centered in there so that it'll stand up good. And we're gonna push that on in there and check them out, make sure they're right, make sure they're the same height. And then we're gonna go ahead and start gluing those in. And then again, make sure your right's on the right and your left's on the left because you don't want his feet poking out sideways. Okay, once you get that glued in, you probably want to stand it up and just make sure he's straight. Then we're going to take that fabric that was on the legs and we're going to adhere it with glue to the um, foam because we're going to finish trimming this out here in a minute when we put the body on. We just need that to be flush. And after you get it all glued down, go ahead and trim it out so you get rid of all the excess. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and um, put our hat on and we're gonna mark where our body starts so that we can um, put some batting around him and make him a little bit fuller. So just draw a line right there where your hat stops and we're gonna attach some batting. So just hold your batting up there and we're gonna, we're gonna glue it on below that line. So just um, figure out exactly how much batting you need and we're gonna glue it around there. We're only gonna do one time around on the batting. So glue that side down, then wrap the other one around and glue it down as well. And then we're going to go ahead and trim it out. Okay, then we're going to attach our sock and we're going to take the trimmed in and go over top of it because that's going to be underneath on the bottom so it's trimmed out nicely. And just keep put, um, moving it around until you get it flat up there because we're going to glue that down in a minute. We don't want him to look like he has on a dress. We want him to look like he just has a body. Okay, then we're gonna go ahead and pull the top up and we're gonna cut about two inches above the tip of the cone. And then we're gonna tie that off. Okay, once you got that tied off, we're gonna go ahead and glue down the edge of the hat 
or the, the body down to, um, to cover up where the legs were attached. Then we're gonna go ahead and put our hat on and we're gonna attach our beard. And again, when you're cutting a beard, we're, made, we're doing this one at two and three quarter inches wide by three inches in length. Just cut the backing only, not, the, not all the way through the beard. And then just comb it out to get rid of the excess. And then we're gonna attach it right below the hat. And then I'm just taking like a little tool um, just to stuff the edge up underneath the hat real good so that the edge doesn't show. And then we're gonna um, glue the body down, to the beard down to the body. Now we're gonna attach our nose and we're just gonna put it right below the hat. And glue that down. And we'll put that aside. And we're gonna start building our arms. So we're going to take um, pipe cleaner, bend it on them in half, and you can make your arms however long you want to. Um, I'm actually going to trim these out here in a little bit because they were longer than I wanted them to be. So once you stuff them up underneath the hat, just determine how long you want your arms to be, and um, you can have them whatever length you want. I'm just trimming it. I'm just trying to figure out exactly how I want it and if I want to bend it and um, so how long I need it. And then I'm going to trim it off. And then I'm going to trim it off here again in a minute. But because it was still too long. Then I'm going to just um, take the fabric. And cut it out. And I'm going to have enough for two. Trim it in half. And then we're going to hem these up. On the bottom. And we're also going to hem them up on the side. So that our seam is a clean seam. So we're going up about a quarter of an inch. On the hem. And that's going to be the side where the arm goes. I mean, where the hand goes, and then we're going to do that on both of them, and then we're going to trim them out the same thing on the side so we have a nice seam once we get done. And then we're going to attach our pipe cleaner, and we're going to roll those up. And... When you're rolling them up, try to roll them up as tight as you can. I mean, they don't have to be real tight, but, you know, we don't want a bunch of loose fabric on his arms. And leave enough at the, at the front to put the bead in as well. And when you're doing the bead, you can do the bead um, from side to side and hide it down in the hand. Or if you want to, um, the gnome to hold something, like a stick or something, you can leave the beads showing so that you can run a stick through the, through the center of it, like I, like I had in the picture of the gnome at the beginning. And we're gonna go ahead and just glue our beads down in, in there. And we're gonna do the same thing for the other side. Roll up that arm, glue it down, and then we're gonna add our bead. And we're just going to stuff that up underneath there to see how long we want them. And again, I'm they were too long, so I'm trimming them out. And then just stuff it up underneath that hat. And we're going to do the same thing for the opposite side. Make sure that they're even before we glue them down. And then we're going to go ahead and glue his arms down to his body. On both sides. Now I'm going to take this uh, the ribbon and I'm going to take that um, fel um, that glitter foam and I'm going to attach my ribbon to that. And that's going to be the trim around the base of his hat. And you can decorate them however you want to. This is just what I did. And then just um, take that and wrap it around and glue the back. And then I'm going to attach these... Um, Four leaf clovers. I'm attached. Um, I attached one, and then I figured out I needed to go ahead and add my ribbon first. So I went back and I took some ribbon and tied it in a bow, and I'm just putting that onto the side of the hat. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go back and finish putting um, my four leaf clover on. 
And something I did on this one, you'll see here in a minute, is I put too much glue on that and that melted the foil on one of them. So I had to come back and pull it off. So just put a dot of glue because you don't need any more than that. And then I'm going to attach some little um, stones, you know, some little glittery stones to the center of each of the four leaf clover. And then there you have it, a cute little St. Patrick's Day gnome. If you like the video, hit like. If you want to see future videos, hit subscribe. And if you want to be notified when I have another video, hit the bell. Thanks for watching.